Hey guys, it's Tamara Bennett from Southern Adornments Decor. We're not painting a door hanger today, but we are painting a ceramic. So we have these in our shop. This is a sunflower ceramic truck bed lid. I don't really know what the appropriate term for it is, but we call them a lid because they sit right here to cover up the back end of the truck. And you can change these out for the different seasons. We have multiple different versions of these available in our shop, including two different types of trucks. And the lids fit both of the trucks. So no matter which truck you paint, the lids will fit. Um, so this is the sunflower one that we're gonna be painting today. Let me show you also um, one that we did last fall that has pumpkins. So this one's available in our shop as well. And so you can get the sunflowers and the pumpkins if you want. And, um, you know, the sunflowers make a really good transition into fall. And I also think they're like good to paint for any time of year um, to just kind of have something neutral in the bed of your truck that maybe isn't holiday related. So this is the one we're going to be painting. I'm excited to get started. Hey, Brenda. Good morning, Nancy. Good morning, Kathy. How are you guys? Today is day nine of the 30 day Facebook live challenge. If you're new here, I've been going live every day for nine days straight and we're heading toward day 30. Um, Cause on the 30th day is the day that my Painters Clubhouse membership will close. It opens on the 23rd. So if you enjoy this live, if you enjoy painting door hangers or even ceramics, we have several ceramics tutorials in the Painters Clubhouse as well. Uh, the membership is for those of you who are wanting to take your painting um, to the next level and learn how to become more confident with it. So whether you've ever paint, never painted before or you've been painting for a while, it's the perfect place to um, get <laughs> to uh, gain some more skills. I started giggling because Alexander said, go racers. I'm wearing my alma mater uh, t-shirt today. So Murray State Racers. That's right. Go racers. <laughs> hey, Katie from Iowa. I'm glad you're here. No, uh, Gloria says, um, the sound is off at work. Oh, that's okay. Um, Sonia says, I need one of those. So Sonia, we actually have a couple of different versions of the truck. So we have this one and then we have another one that's a little bit, um, I don't know if I have one in here. It may not be painted. It may be in the living room. So it's not a big deal to, you guys can see the two different kinds, um, in our shop, but um, Lisa said, I joined your new paint class and your club. Hey, glad you're joining us. So Lisa's talking about the workshop. If you haven't heard, our fall double-sided uh, door hanger workshop is open for signups right now. It's only $10 to participate. Um, I have put the link in the video description for you guys. We're going to teach you how to paint both sides of this. You can pick up a wooden round about 18 inches at any, um, craft store or even Lowe's places like that. Go pick up some craft paints and some brushes and we're going to teach you how to paint both sides of this. You can do this even if you cannot draw freehand anything because uh, we are going to provide you guys a printable template that you can use to put all the lines and everything on there. You're not going to have to freehand draw anything. So even if you can't draw a stick figure, you can still do this with us. It's going to be so fun. We will walk you through it step by step. It's only $10 to participate, and it's all going to happen in a private Facebook group. So how many of you guys are excited and have already signed up for the workshop? Let me know in the comments. Um, Rita loves the trucks. Thank you. Hey, Patty. Uh, Patricia says, I love the green truck on the counter with you. Thank you. Um, I missed a question. Let's see. B, B says, I never thought I could ever paint till her last workshop. So B has participated with us before. Thank you for that feedback. Um, yes, Tammy said, if you have signed up for Painters Clubhouse, if you're a Clubhouse sister, put hashtag PC sister in the comments. That way you guys can connect with one another and maybe say where you're from. You could put hashtag PC sister from Kentucky. That's where I'm from. Lisa's signed up, Tammy has, Kathy has, awesome. If you haven't signed up yet, you can go do that at the link in the description. Janine's gonna sign up today, yay. We are gonna be giving away some happy mail today. So all you have to do is comment when we ask a question. We're gonna have three questions that we will ask throughout the, the length of this live. And if you comment live when we ask the question, you'll be entered for happy mail. Okay. Um, Oh, Jennifer, who makes the ceramics, is watching. You guys didn't know, Jennifer, who is local to me, is the one who uh, does all of our ceramics, and she ships them. So, y'all say hi to Jennifer. She's in the comments, and um, I'm so grateful that not only does she do an amazing job in these ceramics, she ships them for us, and she's local, which makes it super fun. So, hopefully, I do a justice to this sunflower ceramic that we're going to paint. 
Um, okay, hey Vanessa. Hey PC sister from Texas. Let's get started. We're gonna be using DecoArt Americana paints today, craft paints. And the first color I'm gonna use is called Primary. Yeah, actually, no, hang on, I'm gonna use this one first. Daffodil Yellow, and this is a crafter's acrylic. It's a little bit of a cheaper version of the DecoArt paints. Um, it's a little bit more opaque, but I don't think it's gonna to matter too much with our ceramics because they soak up the paint really well. Um, hey, PC sister from Missouri. You're not too far from me. All right, we're gonna just start with a flat tip brush. I'm gonna load it up with this color and we're gonna just paint the whole thing, okay? This is the easy part. We're gonna just base coat the entire thing. Make sure when you're painting it, you wiggle and get it down in those little notches and crevices. And the fun thing about this is, is like with door hanger painting, a lot of times you feel like you have to stay inside the lines and you have to um, make sure and not have lots of brush strokes with ceramics. I feel like you can just have a little bit of fun with it and just slap the paint on. And then of course, toward the end, you'll have to be a little bit more precise if you want it to look a certain way, but it's, it's a little bit more, I feel like it's almost faster sometimes to paint ceramics. When is the deadline for signing up for the workshop? So Sherry, the workshop begins on August 16th, which is two weeks from yesterday. The workshop's gonna last about five days long. If you can't participate live with us during that week, don't worry about it. You will have access to watch the videos on replay. Um, but after the workshop is complete, we are gonna be inviting you to join our membership, the Painters Clubhouse. So if you end up loving it and want to learn more from us, we would love to have you join us. Can you hear all the craziness going on in the next room? Them girls and boys, I'm sure my son is in on it too, are having a blast. Aaliyah's gonna go in there and tell him to keep it down. Not that it's bothering you guys, but it is distracting to me because I, I'm, <laughs> I'm hearing them and I can't even think about what I'm saying. Um, hey, Brittany. Hi, Vicki. Sherry's from North Carolina. You're signed up for the workshop. Awesome. If you're a Painters Clubhouse member already um, and you were a member before, you know, before this month, you do not have to pay for the workshop. So please don't go and pay for it. We have instructions for how to participate in the workshop inside the Painters Clubhouse Facebook group. So anybody have any more questions? Um, Donna says, you kind of do that with all the, can, can I kind of do that with all the ceramic pieces? Um, you would have to ask Jennifer because she's the ceramic expert if she's in the comments, Jennifer Duncan. But I think uh, you, you are advised sort of to give ceramics somewhat of a base coat or an undercoat. And then the traditional way I think of doing it is that you like dry brush on top of the base coat. So um, I'm actually doing it a little different than Jennifer would probably do it. I think she would probably base coat it with a brown and then dry brush the yellow on top. But I'm gonna try a different way today. I'm gonna paint it with yellow and I'm gonna go in and kind of paint all of my colors. And then at the very end, we're gonna take a uh, glazing medium and add a brown glaze on the entire thing, which will give it a really cool antique look. Teresa says, you love my Murray State shirt. Awesome. Go Murray State Racers. <laughs> Uh, hey, Melissa. Cindy says, I've got to get that truck. There's two different ones, Cindy, so just pick whichever one you want um, or both, and you can get some. There's different kinds of lids. There's like a Christmas lid, an Easter lid, um, pumpkins, sunflowers. There's a 4th of July one in there. There may even be a birthday cake one in there. We've got several different ones. All right, so the $10 gives you all five days, I'm assuming, of the oh, yes. workshop. Yeah, so if you sign up for the workshop, it's only $10 to participate. The only thing extra you're going to have to buy is a wooden blank, or you can cut your own. Um, you're going to need some brushes and some paint. But, yes, the $10 gets you to participate in the whole thing, okay, the whole thing. Um, yes, I am going to antique it at the very end. So I just went the easy way out, and I painted the entire thing yellow. Um, you can even paint this base part if you want, but it's not really going to show um, in the back of our truck. All right, it's already almost completely dry. Hey, Vicki, I'm so glad you're here. It's your first time. Well, welcome. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go around with this festive green color and paint all my leaves because when it's all yellow like this, it's kind of hard to tell what's a leaf and what's not. So let's see. I'm going to get a small flat tip brush. This one's much smaller. Um, hey Dexter, or Dexter, April, I saw April Dexter sled. Hey April, glad you were able to catch me. Um, she said, thanks for the text notice. So if you didn't get a text notification that um, I'm going live, you can get text notifications by texting us first. 
Um, the phone number is here. I will just put it in the comments for you guys if you want to text me. You can also text me questions. It's not just for getting notified for lives and stuff. But um, you can text me at that number. Um, Jerry, you can order a truck by clicking the link in the video description. So I've got a little bit of this green and we're just going to go around and paint the leaves um, that are surrounding the flowers. I am going to be a little more careful this time. I feel like the easiest way to get in the cracks, this is also very, very bright, but when we put the um, antiquing glaze on it, it's going to tone these colors down so they won't be as like really bright. Um, Jessica, I'm not sure how much the trucks are in our shop. I don't remember how much we priced them at, to be honest. It's been a while since I put them in there. Um, if somebody else can look and tell us. Does this ceramic, this paint need to be fired? No, this paint does not need to be fired. This is just regular old craft acrylic paint. Does not have to be fired in a kiln or anything. From what I understand, certain paints do have to be fired. How does that work, Aaliyah? Um, specific ceramic paints that you get from a ceramic shop. Okay, can so. Be put on and, and then they need to be fired if you're going to use it with food. Okay, so certain kinds of ceramic paints have to be fired if you use those. Um, and then if you're going to be using them with like food on them, like if it's a plate or a cup or a mug, then you would have to fire it. But this kind, since it's just for decor purposes and we're just using craft acrylics, it does not need to be um, fired. I just remembered I skipped breakfast this morning, so I'm struggling with a shaky hand. <laughs> but a lot of you struggle with that, so maybe it will um, be relatable. Carol says, can you show what glaze you use? Yes, I'll be using that at the end, so I'll definitely show you guys how to do that. Yes, we do have different things you can put in the bed of the truck. Like I said, well, I think we have one for Easter. We have um, a Christmas tree. We have fireworks, pumpkins. Uh, what else? We may have the birthday cake one in there. I don't remember. I'll have to go look. But we've got several to choose from. How much is the Painter's Clubhouse? Tanika wants to know. It is $47 a month. And we teach you how to paint two door hangers every month. Plus, we include bonus videos on different ways to paint door hangers and um, bonus, like, techniques and things. And sometimes the bonus is, like, painting a ceramic like we're doing now. And it is all step-by-step -step taught. Um, you do not have to have any painting experience to learn. A lot of people don't realize painting is a skill you learn. It's not necessarily something you were just born with. So, I wasn't born with a talent to paint. I was born with a desire to create and to be creative and to craft. And so I honed that skill into a painting skill by painting lots. I'm trying to pay really close attention to the details on this so that I paint the, the correct things green. The green leaves are quite a bit bigger than the sunflower leaves. So I'm just going in and giving them a quick coat. I feel like because of the glazing medium that we're going to be using, you don't have to be super precise with your paint because um, the glazing medium, the cool thing about it is, is it's going to stick in the cracks of the design. And so, you know, it's going to look like there's brown deep inside and behind uh, the sunflowers. So there's what we've got so far on this side. This side has a lot of leaves. All right, let's do the other side. Um, so for happy mail, let's go ahead and do some happy mail. If you guys will tell me, answer this question, and we'll choose somebody randomly. When does school start? Like, do you have kids, and when does school start? Ours starts um, two weeks from yesterday, so the 16th, which, perfectly enough, is the day that the challenge starts, so I won't have kids running in and out while I'm trying to teach the workshop. Um, and so, August 16th is when we start around here. So, when do you guys start? <laughs> Uh, hey, Tracy from Kentucky. Hey, Ray. Ray said her school started yesterday. Danita's loving this. Awesome. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Okay, let me give this a look. I think there's a green leaf down here. It's hard to say for sure, but I'm going to add one anyway. Let's see. I think I see one down here. This is gonna be so cute when it's done. Sunflowers have always been one of my favorite flowers. When I was a kid, um, one of my one of my bedroom motifs was sunflowers. For the longest time, I had sunflowers up all around my bedroom. 
and cows. I loved cows. So I had sunflowers and cow decor on everything. Hey Peyton, good to see you. Um, somebody else said the 16th also, Wednesday the 4th. Karen says, first time in 16 years I've not had kids in school. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, well, this year I have one kid in each school. I have a high schooler, a middle schooler for the first time, and a first grader. So um, I don't know what, I'm like, I don't know. I feel like I'm in denial that my kids are getting this old this fast. <clears throat> they say they grow up quickly. I believe it. Okay, first happy mail winner is... She always picks the hard ones to read. Karen Dorsey Hyrath from Wyoming. So, Karen, if you will email us, uh, we will give you, uh, or if you will email us your address, we will send you some happy mail. Okay, I'm just looking, double checking to make sure I got all the leaves. Because it's kind of hard to tell. Like, you know, they kind of blend in with the, with the sunflowers. I think this one may, might be one right here, which even if it's not, you know, we could be adding in a few extra leaves and that would be totally fine too. Mm -hmm. All right, I think I got all those. Let me check this side. All right, there we go. We got our leaves painted. I'm gonna do a quick second coat on a couple of spots that look a little bit um, thin, like this one right here, since it's up top and gonna be the most obvious one. I definitely wanna make sure I get a decent coverage on that one. So just do a quick second coat if they look a little thin. The paint dries so fast though. Nancy thinks it looks like you're holding a piece of cake. <laughs> it does kind of look like a piece of cake and I'm hungry so hopefully I don't take a bite out of it, huh? That would not be very good. All right, well, I keep saying I've got it and then I notice another one that needs another coat. I'm not being super precise with my paint either. I'm just kind of sticking it in there. We've got a newbie that wants to know what happy mail is. Oh, what is happy mail? It's just a fun way of me guys, me saying thank you to you guys for showing up here and commenting on our lives. And so three times during the live, I will ask you guys to answer a question and then we pick somebody randomly for, uh, for the drawing. And then I send you a little something fun in the mail. You never know what it's gonna be. <laughs> Okay, here we go. We got all our leaves painted front and back. I feel like it's missing one right in here, but maybe because this side is different, it doesn't have one. I don't know. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is use a light brown. And the reason I'm using a light brown is because we're gonna do the glaze in a dark brown at the end. So we're using a lighter brown. This is called honey brown. And this is gonna be the centers of our sunflowers. Okay. And I'm gonna switch brushes again. This time, I'm gonna go for a filbert tip brush. It's kind of rounded on the end a little bit. Hey, Jonda, howdy. <laughs> Patricia loves sunflowers, awesome. I do too. Please show the truck again, absolutely. So there's two different kinds of trucks. This is the first one. I don't have a picture, I don't have the second one with me, but there's different beds that sit in the back of the truck. So that's the sunflower one. I do have a pumpkin one here to show you as well. So there's the pumpkins. And there's different ones that you can use. There's even a Easter bunny. Look how cute that is. There's a Christmas tree one. There's a 4th of July. The 4th of July is sitting up. Oh, that may be. Is that the old truck too or is that the new truck? The I have a bunch truck. of these things sitting around the craft room. I forgot. The old truck, but okay. Here's the 4th of July one. It's really big. Look You're at making that. me work today. Yeah. And there's the 4th of July. So 4th of July, Easter, pumpkins, sunflowers. I don't have an example of this one painted, but here are is the Christmas tree with the presents in the back. So you guys can go and get, oh, and this one does come with the lights that go in those little holes. Um, so you can go grab those in our shop if you like. Uh, Shannon, the link, I have put the link to our shop in the video description. There's two kinds of trucks and there's multiple truck beds. So you can just mix and match. Um, all the beds fit in all the, in both of the trucks. Um, <laughs> Cheryl loves painting ceramics. Awesome. I haven't done a lot of ceramic painting since I was a kid. I used to do it 
quite a bit. I don't know why I'm holding the truck. I'm not painting the truck. <laughs> um, I used to do ceramic painting as a kid, and uh, we had a local ceramic shop back then. Not the same one that makes these, but my mom would take me, and she would let me buy like a little figurine of something, and I would take it home and paint it. I'm sure she did it to keep me busy and occupied, because <laughs> I was a lot like Charlie. I would talk nonstop. Uh, no, you do not have to bake these um, unless you're using a specific kind of ceramic paint or you're going to be eating off of them. Uh, Shannon, I don't think the code applies to the ceramics. I'm not sure, but yes, in Painters Clubhouse, there is a discount code. I'm not sure if it applies to the ceramics. I can't remember. All right, this is the honey brown, and I'm just going to kind of stipple it over the uh, centers of the sunflowers on the, the part where the, the seeds go. Just work my way in a circle here and then fill in the middle. This is gonna go fairly, fairly quickly because I don't have to figure out where, the, where those parts are. These parts are obvious. Uh, Gloria needs the truck with the inserts. <laughs> we'll go grab some, they're in the shop. Well, Jan, I want to know if you've got to bake them after painting. No, you do not have to bake them. You can just paint them. I do recommend giving them some kind of sealer just because they, I feel like they always look nicer when they've got like a glossy sort of coat on them. So give them a seal coat and then they should be good to go. Just don't eat off of them. Which, of course, the trucks you couldn't eat off of, but you get the point. Um, what is a Tom Clark figurine? I've never heard of that. Is that like a brand of ceramics? Maybe he's like the Thomas Kincaid of ceramics. <laughs> Don't even know. Okay, we've got all of our sunflowers on that one side painted, so now we can do the other side. And you can just kind of dab, dab, dab it in a circle. The reason I'm kind of dabbing and pushing is because you need to get it inside those little dimples of the where the seeds are supposed to be. Cover up the yellow. But do you see how painting the entire thing yellow kind of sped up this whole process? Because most of it is going to be yellow. So then we can just paint on top of the yellow with the details. And then at the end, we're going to add an antique glaze that will make this whole thing look completely different. It will darken and deepen the colors and it will make the whole thing look much more detailed and rich. Can I change my monthly membership from month or my membership to yearly? Yes, you can. Um, probably just email support about that for instructions on exactly how they want you to do that. But email us and we'll give you instructions. But yes, you can. Um, they used to be sold at Belk. Oh, I used to shop at Belk all the time. They're hard to find around here now. Most of the Belks have gone out of business. Okay, now we've got our sunflowers. So this side has like six sunflowers or seven, and then this side only has four. Whoops, sorry, I'm out of camera here. All right, we're getting close to being to, to, to the fun part, or the fun part, the exciting part uh, where we add the glaze. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch to a small round tip brush to add some details, and I'm gonna add some of this primary yellow because it's quite a bit darker than the daffodil yellow we just used. And so I wanna give my sunflowers a little bit of a two-tone color. So I'm gonna use that darker yellow and I'm just gonna go in on each petal and just add just a little, a little stroke on it to kind of give it a little bit of dimension to make the petals sort of differentiate from one another a little bit. Another fun way to do this would be with a dry brush, but I don't think I have a dry brush that is the right size to do this kind of project. So I'll have to try that technique another day. I'm just gonna use this yellow to kind of add some dimension. See so far what we got. Tabitha used to paint ceramics when she was little because of your grandmother. I think it was really popular years ago and then it kind of like died out for a little while in the 2000s and now it's coming back. So I'm excited about it. I love how things like go in cycles. You know, clothing, fashion, everything, even crafts go in cycles. Just wait, the next thing that's gonna be popular 
I'm predicting this now, so like Nostradamus. I'm predicting that the next popular thing will be painting on clothing. I think it's already starting. Aaliyah's, Aaliyah agree, is agreeing with me. I think it's going to be like everybody's going to be painting their own t-shirts, sweatshirts, and all that is going to be the next big thing because that was also something I did with my mother when we were little. And I bet, Aaliyah, that they're going to bring back the appliques. Do you remember how they had all of the iron-on appliques that they had at Walmart? Mm -hmm. And you would cut them out on different kinds of fabric or whatnot. Some of them, I think, came with the fabric cutouts. And you would iron them on, and then you would take your puff paints, and you would add details and outline. That was the kind of crafting and painting I did with my mother as a kid, and we had the most fun. My mom would always make like a really fancy Christmas sweatshirt or a sweater, um, and then we would go to like a ladies church Christmas party, and the ladies, it would be like her uh, white elephant, dirty Santa gift, Chinese auction, whatever you want to call that game, and um, look how fun this is looking. And everybody would fight over her I painted sweatshirts. I saw a young lady yesterday who had vinyl. Mm -hmm. The big, you know, the big flower that was popular with the love bugs. Yes. She had big flowers in vinyl. Cute. Ironed on her jeans all the way down. It was cute. Um, so did you see, are you friends with Robin Darnell on Facebook? <laughs> She's a teacher at our local elementary school. You've got to go check her. I don't know if she posted on Facebook, but it was on her stories. She did a denim jacket and on the back she painted it like a teacher theme. And it says, mm -hmm. so, I think it says her name or something. And it is the cutest thing. And I'm, I need to, <laughs> Aaliyah, Aaliyah loves it. I need to go find a picture of it and share it on my stories. Or ask her to send me a picture. And Kathy Rent said, almost bedazzled. Yep. Almost, yeah. I love bedazzled stuff, too. So we're just adding little strokes with our little round tip brush on the edges of these little petals to give them a little bit more dimension. See the difference? This is like before and after. See how it, it really makes those flowers look more 3D. So I'm just adding on the outside of each little petal. You really don't even have to be precise with this. I'm just kind of swiping it on there haphazardly because I know from experience that once you add on that fun little antiquing glaze at the end, it's gonna transform the entire thing and it's gonna make it look awesome. Anybody have any questions? Oh, by the way, if you're just now joining us at the beginning, I did talk about this a little bit, but we are having a workshop this is the uh, fall double-sided door hanger that we're going to teach you how to paint. I know a lot of you guys are probably seeing that and thinking, I can't do that lettering. Don't worry. We have a printable template that you can use. All you're going to need is a little bit of graphite paper. We're going to walk you through how to paint it, how to add the turkey on there, how to do all those details, and even how to do that fun buffalo check in the background with some painter's tape and baby wipes. Um, it's going to be super easy, super fun. So come and join us. It's only $10 to participate. You're just going to need a wooden round, which you can buy from us for like 12 bucks, or you can go to your local Hobby Lobby or Lowe's, or you can even cut your own if you're crafty. Um, and we're going to teach you how to paint it. So just go pick up a, a round and some paint and brushes, some graphite paper if you don't have any. It's also known as carbon paper. We've got this whole supply list for you. So after you sign up, be sure to download that supply list. Take it with you to the craft shop. Grab what you need that you didn't, you know, whatever. A lot of you guys, if you're crafty, probably have a lot of the things you already need in your own craft room. So you probably won't even have to buy much. But the tutorial and everything only costs $10. We're going to teach you how to do it over five days in a private Facebook group. It's going to be a ton of fun. And then at the end, you're going to be invited to join our membership, the Painter's Clubhouse. And uh, you'll be able to continue learning to paint with us. Okay, I think I got to talking and missed a couple spots, so I'm just going back and adding a little yellow on those. I love the contrast of these two colors. Okay. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty good. All right, second happy mail. Let's do, um, what was the question we were going to ask? Uh, something about ceramics. Oh, have you ever painted ceramics before, or do you like painting ceramics? Answer that question in the comments and we'll pick one random person to win some happy mail. Okay, now that we've got all of our basic things done, all we have to do is add the antiquing glaze, which I think is really fun. So somebody was asking what kind of glazing medium I use. This is it, DecoArt Glazing Medium. It's clear, okay? So you mix this with whatever paint color you want to create a glaze. 
um, and make sure I have all my things together. And then the paint color I'm going to use is called Asphaltum. It's just a really dark brown. So I'm going to put that in one of my little egg carton holders here. And then I'm going to add some of the glazing medium to it. Whoops. I just dripped it on the table. Let me see. How much are you supposed to do? Add 30 per 5% of it. Oh, I probably to put too much paint in here. So we'll just squeeze out quite a bit of that glazing medium. Now I'm going to use the bottom of a paintbrush to kind of mix it together. So it kind of looks like glue and paint. Um, Karen's been wanting to try ceramics. Kina said, I signed up for that yesterday. I can't wait. I'm glad you're going to do it with us, Kina. It's going to be lots of fun. Laura says, you bet. I love painting ceramics, and I love this little truck topper. Um, Terry did it in her 20s, but hasn't done it in years. Well, you should pick it back up, Terry. I bet it'd be like riding a bike. Lots of fun. Okay. Let me wipe this off. We'll pick a Happy Mail winner, and then we'll start glazing. Um... You painted them as kids. I did, as a kid, I think I did one that was a fairy. It was like a little bitty fairy. I did one that was like a replica of my, Austra was it an Australian? No, it was a border collie dog that I had as a kid. Um, what else? I don't know. I had a bunch of different ones and they were all about this tall. And so I would have them lined up like across my dresser as a kid. And my mom was always so good at helping me like paint the eyes and the little tiny details. All right, second happy mail winner is Michelle Sloan Swans. I almost had it. She, Michelle Sloan Swanberg. I was going to be so proud of myself that I was able to say it quickly and correctly, and I still tripped over it. Oh, and she says it's a game. She's trying to trip me up. Um, let's see. April says, I used to do it at a local shop here in Benton. Um, you have lots of Christmas ornaments. I haven't painted any that are Christmas ornaments, but I think that would be really fun. My kids would probably break those. Um, okay. All right. Y'all ready? So we've got our glazing medium mixed up. It looks like watery brown paint. And this is gonna be the slightly scary part. Make sure your paint is all dry. Looks pretty good. Cause if it's not, after we glaze it and then we go to wipe the glaze off, you will smear any of your acrylic paint that's still wet. I see a couple of shiny spots. So let me hit it with a hairdryer. Okay, so here it is before. Get a good look at it. You're going to be amazed. Ready? Now we're going to use a brush like this, a little chip brush. Don't be scared because this part's going to scare you. I'll never forget the time I had my assistant, Shan, who's a college student in here with me. I started glazing something and she went, oh, she thought I was messing it up. I was like, no, it's fine. This is what you're supposed to do. So pick up some of that brown glaze and just start dab, dab, dabbing it over the whole thing. This looks a little thicker than what I intended it to. So let's just quickly do it and wipe it off and make sure I didn't mess this up. Because even I still kind of want to panic when I put it on here. I'm like, oh, did I just mess it up? But you know what? In the end, it's just paint. And it's going to be fine. Look how awesome this is going to look. Ugh. I'm geeking out over it. Every time I get giddy and I geek out about it. You can wipe off as much or as little as you want. I'm going to kind of try to wipe a lot of this off but I want it to stay like in the little cracks and crevices. So I'm just using a paper towel. Okay, look, 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 look how cute. So before and after, and we're not done. I'm still wiping, hold on, still wiping. I love when a project, like I almost panicked. I was like, oh, I almost, I probably didn't mix it right. And I thought I had gotten too much of the brown paint because it was really dark, but I think I love that. Like I love how thick it is in the cracks. Look, 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 look. Okay, so this is what it was like before. And this is what it's like with the glazing medium. It's like magic. Donna says it looks amazing. Lo Diane says I love using glaze on ceramics. Diane, I had never done it on ceramics until this past year. I had only ever done it like on furniture. And so um, you can like, if you feel like, if you feel like you got too much in a crack or something, you can kind of dab it out, but I'm almost afraid to do that. Cause I like, I kind of like the slightly messy, slightly too glazed in some spots looks. It gives it dimension. Now those sunflowers look 3d. Vicki says this makes me want to do ceramics again. You should Vicki go to my shop and grab you a cute little truck 
and whatever lids you want. We have the sunflowers, we got the pumpkins, we got the Easter, um, Christmas, whatever you want. See, we're dabbing it on this side again, or not again, but we're dabbing it on this side this time. I only work one side at a time, That, and if you need to, work in small areas. That way you have time to kind of uh, wipe it off because you don't want it to dry on there. You want it to just stick in the areas that you want it and then just wipe it all off. All right, so does that seal it to be outside? Uh, I don't believe so. I don't think the glaze, do, glaze does any sealing. So make sure and seal it after. All right, we got the brown on there. Start wiping it off. I'm gonna have this all over my hands <laughs> by the time I'm done. I probably should have gotten more paper towels than I did, but I think it'll be fine. Just gonna keep dabbing and picking it up. It's looking good. This side's still got more than this side, so I gotta keep going. Let me turn my paper towel over and get a clean spot. Might help too if I sit it down. I can actually apply a little more pressure while I'm wiping. I kind of like the, the motion of like circular buffing too. I feel like that's probably taking a little more off. Look how much darker those colors look now that the glaze has been applied. You know, some of you guys may have been like, ooh, that's too bright of a yellow or too bright of a green. But once you add that glaze, it really brings the colors down a, a notch. So if you start with dark colors, you're really gonna end up with a dark project. Aaliyah was advising me to go with the bright colors because she knew that the glaze was going to lighten everything up. So here's one side, here's the other. I've got a little bit up here I need to clean up where it had overlapped from the other side. Okay, look how cute this is. All right, so let's dry it real, oh, I see a spot that I missed. Look, right up in there. There's a little bitty spot where the glaze didn't get between the paint and the bright yellow was popping through. Super cute. So also notice how, because we used the light brown, the dark brown stuck in all the little holes and it kind of created a really cool dimensional effect. Can you order the truck online? Yes, Elizabeth, go to my shop at shopdoorhangers.com. I've put the link in the description for you and you can, um, Sign, uh, you can order right there. You can order two different kinds of trucks and multiple different kinds of truck beds. All right, I'm gonna give it a clear coat real quick. This is Dura Gloss, or sorry, Dura Clear Gloss Varnish. All right, show them the glaze before you do that. Okay. And then show them the, the glaze that oh. you used. So this is the glaze we used. And then show them. The Glazing glaze. medium. We mixed it with a dark brown paint. Glazed the whole thing. Now we're gonna get a flat tip brush. We're using the Duraclear gloss varnish and make sure, actually I need to dry it real quick. Some of the glaze that's down in the cracks is still wet. We don't want to smear it. Okay, it's gonna take a second to dry this because the glaze is a little thick in some of these cracks and I can see that it's still shiny. We need it to be 100% dry because when you do the clear coat, the clear is gonna smear any other wet colors you have. So while I'm continuing to dry this, answer my last happy mail question for me, which is when are you gonna start decorating for fall? Like how early do you put up your decorations? We'll pick one more winner.
Autumn, you're my kind of gal. I like to start decorating early too. <laughs> um, and Mary, the sign up behind me is to remind you that our painting membership, the Painters Clubhouse, opens for enrollment August 23rd. So go circle that on your calendar and we will um, put the link in for you guys when that, when that time comes. All right, I think it's dry enough now. Do we have a winner yet? Or are we still looking? We're still looking. I see lots of people saying September 1st. Some people say just the end of August. I'm usually about middle of August. Usually by August 15th, I'm like, I'm done with summer. <laughs> and I start putting up all the fall decorations. All right, last Happy Meal winner is Tracy Schonberg. So Tracy, send us an email with your address and we'll send you something happy in the mail. All right, I'm just putting a clear coat. It kind of looks milky when you first put it on. It's kind of a clear, milky look. Just get it down in those cracks and crevices. This just seals the paint nicely so it doesn't chip off as easily and it's gonna give it a really pretty glossy finish. It'll well, look really Autumn nice. Autumn says it's her name, so. Oh, <laughs> that is so true. Autumn, it is your name, so it, it, it fits perfectly that you wanna start decorating early. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> um, <laughs> Kim says, I just took July 4th down, so I may do it soon. Yeah, some people decorate for like back to school. I don't even do that. I just skip straight from summer and 4th of July. I take the 4th of July stuff down and I pretty much go straight into fall. All right, getting my clear coat on here and then we're gonna dry it and then you guys will be able to see what it looks like in the back of the truck. I've almost used a little too much of the sealer, so I'm just gonna go back over it real quick with my brush, picking up any of the excess and then scraping it back into my egg carton. I don't want it dripping. Like you, you, you want enough that it's covered, but you definitely don't want it dripping on everything. But all the little cracks and crevices on this grab that clear coat and it holds it in place. So it's like you get too much too easily. If you sign up for Painters Clubhouse now, when does your membership start? So if you sign up for Painters Clubhouse today, uh, when you sign up for the workshop, you'll get asked if you want to go ahead and join. Your membership will start right away. I don't think you'll get added to the Facebook group immediately, but you will have immediate access to all of the tutorials and the templates and things that are in there. So you'll be able to just go ahead and dive right in to everything that's in there. Um, we just may not be able to add you to the Facebook group immediately. Any more questions about the fall double side? Do y'all wanna see the double sided door hanger one more time while this is drying? Cause some of you guys may have just popped on. So we're talking about the workshop that begins August 16th. You can sign up today for just $10 to learn how to paint this double sided door hanger. Even if you can't draw, we will teach you how to use our printable template to put this image on the piece. You just need a wooden round and we're gonna walk you through step-by-step step exactly how to paint it. <clears throat> Yes, Kathy, it starts August 16th. It's gonna be five days long and we'll teach you um, in a private Facebook group. So yes, Carol, you can use a spray gloss if you prefer. I just used a brush on gloss um, because I knew I could do that right away for you guys in here. So look at that nice shine it has now. It definitely makes it look more polished and finished. So now we can put it in the bed of our truck and it's ready to display. Look how cute that is. It's all ready. Look, we even have Bennett on the license plate. <laughs> So if you don't have one of these little trucks or if you want to get one, it's got different different lids. Here's the pumpkin lid. There's also an Easter lid, a Christmas one, and a 4th of July one that you can get in our shop. And so you can change these out for the different holidays. But today we painted the sunflower. And it's a great, I feel like this one could go anytime, like all through the summer and through the fall. It would be a good in between the holidays transition time. All right, thank you guys for joining me today. Don't forget to text me if you wanna be notified when I go live. I'll put the text number in one more time for you guys. Um, 
I'll notify you tomorrow because tomorrow will be day 10 of the 30 day Facebook live challenge. I have no idea what I'm going to do tomorrow. So if you have suggestions of what you would like to see me do live, leave it in the comments. I might pick your choice. You just never know. Um, Sherry says, is there a link with all the info to make that door hanger? Uh, yes, it is called the fall double sided door hanger workshop. So we've put it in the video description. Um, so just grab that there. And if you can't find it, of course, um, just text me. I'll give it to you right there. All right. Bye y'all. Have a great day.